on this episode of Grassroots Garage. We have Ben's epic little Honda Civic. This is another OG 1970s build featuring a draw-through carby turbo setup with water methanol injection as well. When we last caught up with Ben, he brought along his absolutely stunning red Toyota Crown Coupe, which also had the draw-through carby setup. It caused quite a stir because of the backyard style build, but this is the stuff we absolutely love, your grassroots garage. Ben's little Civic is just our style, epic stance and that massive wing. If you want to show your Honda love, why not grab one of these Type R t-shirts? We'll have a link in the description. Going to Grassroots Garage. I hope you recognise his face from his awesome little crown coupe. We've got Ben back. Ben, thanks for your time, Ben. No worries, man. Uh, it's a thanks spare car. Uh, this is a 74 build uh, Honda Civic first generation. I bought it because of the wing. First thing I saw was the wing on the car. Yeah. I noticed that it was just something unusual that I thought you could probably never find again. Uh, then I found out it was carby turbo, so I bought it. It was pretty crusty when I bought it, as usual. You know, everything had to be pulled apart, repainted, re-put together, get, get things working in that. But yeah, we got there in the end. So yeah, it was backyard. Like the, the theme of the build was uh, low budget, backyard, you know, like usual, uh, <laughs> that yeah. sort of thing. I've built the car in the JDM rough style. It's, uh, it's like a freeway, vintage freeway racer style. Yeah, it's, it's the style I like, so that's what Magic. I did. All right, so the engine, like last time, this one, it was done a million years ago. It's old school, it's got the carby turbo set up. This one's running a Stromberg draw-through carby turbo. Um, the engine was built with forged pistons. It's a 1500 uh, Honda overhead cam engine. Um, it's got the water meth spray like last time. Nice, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is water meth. It's not meth. done by the same guy, is it? This one's not, no. I don't know who, this got, well, Sandy Harbutt, the guy who built the car, the first time he's, I don't know uh, whether he did it himself or he got someone to do it, but yeah, it was done back then. Like, so the water meth must have just been a thing they did back in Yeah, the it was all they had, I suppose. That's, that's what they did to cool them down. Mm. It worked. It, it works on this setup, so just like yeah. the other ones. So I'm looking at the, the reservoirs here, there's a little pump. No, that's the fuel pump. Where's the little, little no, meth man, pump? No, this one. Oh, there it is. Is this so, it down here? Yep. That little white thing there. there and, and then it pumps it through. Up here. And then when you, oh, it just goes into the air filter. Yeah, it, well, it goes through because the air filter's on the outside. Ah, it just goes yeah. straight into the carb. Yeah, Sick. it's got a real restricting jet as well. It, like the actual spray that goes in there is like a tiny pissy mm. pinhole of, of mm. water and meth that sprays in there. So, so when you are, at, is it the same? Is it a boost level that triggers it? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Same yeah. deal. Five psi, like the last yeah. one. Yep. And then it just—it literally just sends electrical signal and just says pump yep. some meth. No. Gives power to the pump and just starts yeah. pumping it. It took like usual. Nothing, nothing like that worked when I bought the car. I had to get it all going again, yeah. and test everything, make sure it was all working. But yeah, yeah now it's all, all good. Twin twin oil filters. Yeah. Yeah. Twin oil filters. Sick. And an oil cooler, keeping it all nice and cool. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll yeah. come around the other side of the engine just to get a couple of shots from this side as well. That's it. That seems like a decent sized little turbo. A big turbo for the little engine. Yeah. yeah. So it, um, it comes on boost, I don't know, what half the got it in. But it's, it, you know, when it comes on, it starts to, it starts to wind up and yeah. definitely pushes along. Yep. So. They've, they've done a little custom heat shield there. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It's keeping yeah. a bit of heat out of the cabin. Yeah. <laughs> it, it comes through that turbo. It, sorry, it comes through the carby, hits that turbo. Hits the wall. Smashes the dead zone and then gets sucked into the engine. <laughs> sucked into the engine, that's all. And yeah, burns it, yeah. yeah. Or, or if that's incorrect, please comment at oh, the yeah. bottom. Please make I'm a comment. Sure they will. Yeah, good one. Good yeah. times. Very nice, man. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Sick. All right, so let's run through. So, what are these what wheels? Else we got? The wheels, they're off an 80s um, sports sedan. The guy, some guy had a unit, he was just cleaning out his unit. I picked them up for a hundred bucks, the wheels. Oh, so you can't go wrong, you know. So yeah. I grabbed them, painted them up, the right colors for, to match the rest of the car and got some tires, got the 
Toyo R triple eights proxies through them business, on. Looks business, eh? It looks all yeah. business. It sits so fat there. Yeah. And and you've coloured them to match the roll cage. Yeah. Well, I, I pulled the roll cage out. That was that was cu covered in carpet. So I pulled that out and sandblasted it and uh, painted it the bronze that I like. I thought the bronze complements the grey, so I painted the roll cage that colour, painted the wheels that colour, and that was about it. Just enough to set set off the grey and black. And um, yeah. It is. Thank you so much for not tipping it in the bit. So First start, kick, eh? mate. First kick. Carby turbo. Carby turbo. <laughs> <laughs> not this one. Have a look. Um, the trims, the door trims are original. Uh, yeah. I had to get, um, I had to get new new door trims front and back because the ones that were on there had big holes cut in them and oh, they, were, yeah. they were a bit rough. So I got, um, they were like new old stock door oh, trims. Oh really? Yeah, they were off. Well, to say they were new old stock, right? They were covered, still coated in the original plastic. So I think they had been used, but they were like perfect. So I just took the, the plastic coating off them and they were like brand new underneath. Imagine. So I got them, used a couple of these Takata toe straps just to, as door, pull grab yeah. handles. Yeah. The, the original grab handles were fucked. So I basically just <laughs> replaced yeah. them with yeah. this. Gave it, I don't know, the green, I oh, like the green inside the car. Yeah. Um, the old Recaros, they were with the, they, they were been in the car forever. So steering was Yeah, steering wheels been in the car forever, same so thing. So t I feel, tell me if I'm losing my mind. I feel like he's put them in backwards, the Recaro. Yeah, like he has. Well, hey, hold on. No, I'm not going to blame him. I pulled the roll cage out, and I had to pull the seats out, so I probably put them in backwards. <laughs> so my mate actually picked that the other day, and I went, you know what? I think you're right, actually. Yeah. yeah. But they're in there. But it doesn't matter. They're, they're actually the same, but yeah, they could. I think the the where you tilt them is actually against each other now. So. Yeah. But yeah. they sit in them. They're hey, comfy. it could be. You know what, man? It could be for a reason though, too, because um, they, oh, see okay, how closely right. assists the roll yeah. cage. I think that's, they probably were like that when from bang, before as well. The yeah, cage. they yeah. do sit real close to the cage. Yeah. And I feel like um, it's mounted them, centered them a little bit. Probably. Into yeah. the car, which is which is like a cool little speech. It's the two seat conversion as well. It's got no back seat. These yeah. cars did have a tiny little back seat from original, but yeah. this one's just been flattened out, which is good. I mean, I wouldn't want to put anyone in the back of this car anyway. Uh, so. So the big big feature I notice is this massive thing. The wing, Tell yeah. Us the, about this. Well, the wing's been on there again since forever. Um, that was the thing that I saw when I saw this car for sale in in a rough state. The wing was the first thing that attracted me to it. I just thought like you would never find that again, you know. Uh, so it's three piece. It's it's like. Yeah. So what is it? It's uh either a Jackson Racing or a original Mugen wing. Yeah. I can't get a straight answer. Other different people say different things, but um here's our opportunity come on. Yeah, folks. yeah, it's you tell us, but <laughs> um they the original design was by Mugen um and they're actually wind tunnel tested these wings with these cars like with really? race, racing in mind, yeah. Sick. So Man, this, this, like, if you told me I bought this wing yesterday, I'd go, yeah, man. It was fucked when I bought it, obviously. Oh, yeah. was it? It was cracked up and it was split oh, everywhere. But so I, you, to, I fixed it all up and yeah, repainted it. Yeah. But it Fiberglassed it again, or you've just done uh, uh, Yeah, I had the fiberglass up and spit some sections of it. Uh, just from being so around. I see. Up. Yeah, yeah. It just painted it up. Very cool. Red resin, and it's the same in the front grill badge. Yeah, I noticed that yeah. in the front grill badge, it really, like, it's like, um, well, it was the same. All it did was sand it down and clear it. Yeah, it'd be amazing. They look so dead, and then you just you sand it down and uh, put a bit of like uh, clear resin in there and then clear it. Yeah, and it brings it back to brand new. That's sick. It doesn't cost anything, just, just, yeah, just time. Makes it look good. Yeah. I put the flares on, yeah. Oh man, it took me so long to go through so many different styles of flares that would uh, find a set that would actually like cover the wheels and sort of suit the the chunkiness of the wing. Because like you put a tiny flare on there and it just still made the wing look ridiculous. So I had to find a good chunky set of flares that set off the wing, um, which I found. I got got that them ones. Um, rear bar whole saw the shit over just to... I think that's my favourite feature on this car is this, <laughs> is this rear bar. Yeah, that was uh, that was just a backyard whole saw job just to give it to the, the light and race look. Yeah, very yeah. cool. Just happened straight away and came up with a set. Yeah, so, uh, these ones? They're, they're genuine Civic guard mirrors. No. Nah. Really? Yeah. Brand new. New old, yeah. yeah. That's sick. 
Because they're mad, I just assumed aftermarket. They look like, yeah, just generic, but no, they're actually genuine Civic, uh, first gen Civic car mirrors. So good. Oh, well, I got you. Yeah. You flared these? The, the yes, I just basically I'd made a little spacer, and um, even with the flares on, uh, it still didn't cover the front wheels where I needed it to, so I just pumped the, pumped the front guards out as well. And you just even unbolted them and just... Seriously, man, just a little spacer at the bottom of the guard, pumped them out, and they and it sat exactly where I wanted it. So it's good. Because of that, that sort of style yeah. I wanted as well. Yeah. As fat as it could possibly be. It's a boot. <laughs> it's, well, it's, a boot it's a boot lid model. That, that's the first Civic. Um, a lot of the, like these only, they only made these for a couple of years or, or even less, or maybe a year or so. Mm. Um, the first Civic was a bootlid model. Um, they were designed off like a Mini. And oh, then, yeah. and not, not long after they made them, they went to a hatchback design. So, yeah. yeah. It's pretty rare to see a bootlid model. Yeah. yeah. No Good Racing is a Japanese uh, car club slash gang. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they basically race on the freeway. Run, the run amok and yeah, yeah. that's I mean you got their motto bye bye police <laughs> obviously they're yeah. up to no good which is what they do that's mad. so uh, that's just you know a tribute to that that style so yeah. I put a few stickers on little uh little zip tie job here oh yeah that's mad yeah I had purple zip ties as well that's fine yeah 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 that's what I got that's what I'll use that's what we're using yep. yeah Nine thousand RPM. <laughs> That's what the taco do. That's what they reckon. <laughs> <laughs> this one is. There's twelve thousand. Jeez. That one's a standard cable for it though. So uh, it's a cable one. Got a wood grain. Seventy mate. They love the wood grain. They do. See where it gets to. Yeah. <laughs> a little yeah. pressure work worked. Last time I drove it. Can I read that? Yep, 50. <laughs> <laughs> the whole theme of the car was just to do a backyard build, low budget as usual. Yeah. Nice. Um, yeah, so we just gave it a quick sand down, fixed up what we had to do, uh, painted it in an industrial two pack grey, which was just mixed out of slops. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and laying around, like everything on this yeah. car, everything yeah. was just yeah, low budget. Yeah. And um, even this, even the roll cage colour, we just mix, I just mixed it up out of like some stuff we had from like 10 years ago. See, this colour is beautiful, man. Like it's a just a, yeah, it's just like uh, copper, pearl, black, and silver. Yeah, nice. But it, you know, same thing, just one night, it's got to go out there and just mix up stuff out of the slot paint. Yeah, but that's your profession, is spray yeah. painting. Yeah, yeah I'm spray painting. So, yeah. so oh, uh, remind me to come back to this question because we're about to get a green light but yep. I was just thinking about where your like where your inspirations are because there's a certain style you've got yep but we're gonna boost it up first <laughs> freeway hey that was a lot more than 50 that was 100 <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> see we feel you feel you're doing oh, yeah. a million kilometres like an hour. Car. You feel like you're going so fast, yeah. you're not doing that fast. You're barely doing 100 because I can right. lean out and touch the road. Yeah. <laughs> I can lean out and touch the road out the window. <laughs> but it feels fast. That's it. That's a real arty shot right now. Ooh, I just hit. So, so the people playing at home, that's the, that's the Civic Cup Series. Yeah. Yeah. You know, 
obviously this is, um, I've got a sticker on the car, it's like a tribute to, um, what is it, No Good Racing, like those guys build Civics in Japan, but usually they stick to the, like the 90s Civics, like EGs and EKs and stuff like that, or even in earlier ones from the late 80s, mid, mid to late 80s, but um, because I had this car, I thought, you know, I'd do something that looks like a bit older again, this, this is the style of Jack cars I like. when you first got it when I first got it the, the first thing that I noticed that, that drew my attention to the car was the massive whale tail ass rear wing on it yeah yeah that was the thing that like caught my attention uh, when I looked further into it I saw it had the engine carby turbo and that was it I had to buy it yeah that's right down my alley so yeah, yeah. Um, you know what we didn't do last time which, which I'm a little bit excited about we missed them last time unlimited budget would you change anything on this no no, no. If I, if, if I was a billionaire, I'd still build cars like this with yeah. with no money because that's what I like to do. Yeah. You know, it's just. I mean, it's easy to say I've got no money, but like, the challenge is to try and make something cool, and everything you do, you scrimp and scrape and try and you know yeah. sort of make something happen out of that. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'd have a Lambo as well, hundred <laughs> percent. But I'd yeah. also still f play around with stuff like this. Yeah. yeah. Same unlimited budget. You've got this, you've got the crown, and you've got a Lambo. Yeah. <laughs> what else you got? What else would you have? I'd have a couple of Lambos. A couple of Lambos. I'd have a vintage Lambo, I'd have a Lamborghini Esparta. Yeah. That's That's my favourite car. Okay. Um, but I'd also have brand new Lambos, yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. What else would I have other than yeah. that? Oh, man. I don't know, that's that's all I ever think about, is the, the top end and the, the realistic uh, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And you got the, so you got the little um, 800 in the build, Sport 800? Yeah, I've got a Toyota Sports 800, it's uh, it's like, a, I haven't started the project, it's just a basket case sitting there, I'll just be collecting parts for that as I go at right. the moment. Yeah, but it, nice. I think it'll probably, probably be a resto, as much as I've never restored a car, but I think that car probably should be restored, it's not, you know, like, it's easy to chop up stuff that's a bit here and there, but when it's something that rare, it probably should be restored. It'll, you know, it'll always have a set of wheels on it or something like that, but, yeah. yeah, it'll probably be a resto project eventually. So this one here, this is this is an original 1970s build? Yes, it was yeah. built by Sandy Harbutt. Um, Sandy Harbutt was a movie producer who, who's most famous for the Stone movie, that it's like a... How would you explain it, man? It's a cult classic. It's a cult it's classic. A, a yeah, cult you're probably, most people have probably seen it. If you yeah, haven't Australia. seen it, yeah. stop what you're doing and watch that instead of this. Because yeah, <laughs> it's, it's the best. Yeah. It's got like Japanese motorbikes, fights, bikey gangs, yeah. heaps of good scenes from like around Sydney Some in the 70s. Bathing. Yep, everyone remembers that from being a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing that stuff, yeah. <laughs> So sick, man. <laughs> uh, so if you don't like Carby Turbos or you're upset about that intake manifold, <laughs> please comment at the bottom and we appreciate that. Uh, and that's it for the episode. Ben, thanks for your time, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.
Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.